Imagine in just five minutes from now, you had access to one of the most powerful collections of social media tools available for one low price. You could instantly start driving more traffic than ever before to your offers and your sites. You could harness the power of four different social networks with a combined user count of almost 4 billion. Yes, I did say billion. Almost 4 billion users. All of them at your fingertips and ready to market to. We've taken the most powerful social media marketing tools and put them into one powerful platform to bring ease of use and automation to your campaigns. The first tool is our Rich Post Editor. Using this tool, you will be able to make your posts stand out from those of your competitors. Make your text bold, strike through, underline, use many different fonts, and even our inbuilt emoji search. Next up is our Scheduling Tool. This allows you to schedule your posts to Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and YouTube. But this is not just some run-of-the-mill or as-seen-before scheduling tool. With ours, you can add a post for each platform in our Smart Post Creator, then schedule a post to all four networks at the same time. Then we have our Chrome Extension app, which lets you browse the web and schedule your posts at the same time. So if you come across anything interesting that you think your audience may like, then voila! you can instantly post the whole article or even just a selected section that you like. The fourth tool is our Content Hub. This updates automatically with content from all over the internet that you can then repost directly to your walls and or pages. There are thousands of different articles and images that are updated every single hour for you to choose from. No more wasting time looking for quality content. Number five is our Design Editor which is a fully standalone design app that has now been added directly into Social Studio. This has thousands of themes, images, pictures that you can pick to use directly in your designs for social media. It also has full section of pre-built themes for you to use as you wish. Next up is our engaging posts. Stuck for something to post? Fret no more, as you can now let our team find the most relevant content for that day and preload your dynamic calendar with a post for every day. Every day is different, and you can set it up so that it posts automatically each day with something new and engaging on complete autopilot whilst you sleep. Next, our dynamic calendar. This makes managing your campaigns easy. When you schedule a post, it automatically gets added to the calendar, and you can view the calendar via day, week, month. All posts can then be edited direct from the calendar at any time you choose. Next is the multi-use add-on tool. You can add multiple different campaigns into this tool, so you're not stuck with one account and a single campaign. For example, if you have one page for one business and another for a different niche or business, then you can add them both in. There are no limits in Social Studio. The Inbox System is the next tool. Are you forever missing messages on your accounts inside your various social media platforms as there are just too many? How about we bring them all together under one roof? You can answer comments and messages directly for all the platforms from inside one simple to use app. Then, 10th tool is our analytics suite. This will show you which posts are working best for you and on which platform. No more guesswork. Just see which campaigns are working and then duplicate them. Works with both Twitter and Facebook. Using the power of this cloud-based system will not only save you hours of work, but also bring you more traffic than you ever thought possible. With our multi-user account system, you can promote all your brands and business under one account, no need to switch over, just move between accounts inside our Social Studio app. We use Social Studio every day in our social media campaigns, and it has already increased just one account by over 100% in 28 days, up to 39,000 impressions, and a 76% increase in one of our channel's views. In just 90 days, we've gone to over 8,000 plus views. By signing up today and using Social Studio, you'll be able to free up your time and let the software do the grunt work for you. Here we are inside the main dashboard for Social Studio, and I'm going to show you some of the main points that you'll find in here. Now, this is the view you get when you first log in. As you can see, I don't have any activity going on, but as you add things, this will get more and more detail. Let's just go through the different settings and the different parts of the menus. Firstly, let's look at what's actually on our screen right now. Down the left hand side, we have a main menu. It tells us the projects that we've got. We can create a post, go to our dashboard, which we're at right now, look at the calendar, the content hub, and the design editor. We'll go through all these shortly. Then you've got your recent activity. 
This shows your activity inside Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, and the date. Next, we have the scheduled posts. Now, this is a brief overview of what we have in our calendar. And as you'll see, the calendar has much more functionality. But at a glance, it will show you what you have on the different networks, what scheduled time you have, and the numbers. Then at the bottom, we have the themes. Now, these are things you can use to make your posts, and we'll show you how to edit these shortly as well. If we go back up to the top, you can see there's also a top menu. Now, this will take you back to the dashboard, give you any notifications that may have come in, go to your profile, and log out. Let's have a quick look at the profile. If we click here, it takes us to our details. Now, in here, we can change our email, change our password, and change our time zone. Let's head on back to the dashboard. We haven't got anything scheduled or in the activity at the moment, but if you did have, you could click on View All or View Calendar to see them all. Let's go down this left-hand menu first, starting with Projects. If we click on here, it takes us to the project screen. Now within here, I've got a test project already and I can create a new project if I want to. So I can type in here and put something like test two and click the plus button. This adds the new project to the project screen. As you can see, I've got no accounts associated with this right now. All I have to do is click on manage project. If the project wasn't shown as active, we could click to make it go active and then get to this screen here. Now, as you can see, I haven't got any linked accounts yet. So what I need to do is click on each one I want to include in this project. So for this one, let's click on Facebook. What this will do is take us through to Facebook where we can approve this so that it can be used. Now, all we need to do is say that we want to continue and then choose what pages you want it to have access to. I'm going to take all of these out and just put this one here and then click next. Then it asks you what it's allowed to do. Can it manage your pages and publish as the pages you manage? And then click done. You want to leave them as they are, otherwise it can't do anything to it. And just click OK. And it will take us back to our social studio. As you can see, the page I chose for posting to is now available here. And I can click on use. Now I've got my Facebook account set up to use with this particular project. You can also add LinkedIn, Twitter and YouTube. If you want to add someone who can moderate this, you can click on the ad here. And then you can enter their email and they'll be able to moderate this particular project. Also, if you set clients up, you can click on here and add them to a project so they can also see it. If you did want to delete the project, you just click on here and it'll ask you to enter the name of the project to delete it. This saves you accidentally deleting something you spent a lot of time setting up. OK, now we've got our test project. Let's go back to the dashboard. From here, let's create a post. Now, once in here, you've got an editor where you can customize your post so you can post it to the different places you want to. Now, I've only set up Facebook, but if I had the other networks set up, you would see them along the top here and you can click whichever ones you want to share to. You can share to all of them or just one of them or a couple of them, totally up to you. So all you do now is you type your message in here, add any images you want to, any videos you want to, any links and any emoticons, and then you can either schedule it for later or post right now. Down here, you've also got the designs. So you've got the different uploads and you can use these if you want to. You've got my designs, which are your saved designs, and you can click on new design as well. Now this takes you to the editor. So we'll come to that in just a second. For now, let's say we're going to schedule this. So we click on schedule and then we choose our date and our time. Now this is ready in the queue. Let's look at that design option I showed you. We can click on new design and it takes us through to the editor. You can also get to this by clicking on Design Editor in the left-hand menu. Now you need to choose the thing that's going to function the best for what you're trying to post to. So it's a Facebook post. So let's view this one here. Here's some themes that we're going to be adding to over time. And you can click to edit these, or you can click on New Image and put your own image up there. And once saved, this will be in My Designs. Let's just click on Edit on this one to show you what it can do. Now, once you're inside here, you've got all sorts of options. You can see we've got the themes, the photos, the text, the shapes, the background, and the uploads. What you can do is click inside of this and then change it to your heart's content. No pun intended. Once you've got this, you can save it, you can download it, you can preview it, or you can use it. By clicking use, it puts it into the post that we were doing earlier. As you can see, it's now added it into our post and we can then customize it with the message and do all the usual things and then either post it now to whatever networks we decide up here or schedule it and add it to our calendar. So we did that earlier with the other one. So let's go and look at the calendar now. 
Before we go on to where we actually put our post, you can see we're being offered some posts here that are engaging that we could use. To do this, all we'd have to do is click on the use button and it would load it up and we can actually schedule that ourselves or post it ourselves on our own networks. Now, if you don't like the idea of this, you can always switch it off by ticking here and hiding the engaging posts. But these are really good if you want to have an idea of something to do. But let's find the post we did. Here we go, I've just clicked along, I've come along to the 5th of March and you can see the Facebook message test is here at 9am. Now if I want to I can click on there and then I can either reschedule it, delete it or go in and edit it. For now because this is just a demo I'm just going to delete this so that it doesn't actually get posted. Now this calendar means that you can see at a glance what it is that you've got in there and what you've got scheduled on what different networks. This is fantastic for building up a consistent social media plan. But what if you're not sure what to write about? What if you haven't got any ideas today? Well, that's where the Content Hub comes in. If we click on Content Hub, you are going to get a lot of different things suggested to you. All you need to do is go to the menu on the top right and choose what sort of subject you want it to be in. So let's go for Health and Wellness. What this does now is brings up lots of suggestions based on that subject. Now you can be sure that anything that comes up on here is going to be getting engagement elsewhere which means that you can use it and get the same engagement. All you need to do if you want to use one or one takes your fancy is go in and click. Now this will tell you the word count, it will give you a snippet here and then you can choose what picture you want to use. Let's click this one here. You can have more than one if you want or you can keep it simple and just have the one, it's up to you. And then click publish article. Now what this does is it puts it automatically into the create post section. Now we can go in there and we can customise it for the different networks. Now maybe you're wondering what the rules are for posting on different networks. Things like the character count, whether they can have videos, all that sort of thing. Well we've put a handy thing here which you can click and this will give you the rules for each network. As long as you're following these rules you should have no problem getting it posted. Now as you can see over here we've got the post preview, you can see it looks really nice, we've got the different links and everything. We can edit this with our own links or whatever it is we want to do and then we can either schedule it or post now. So if I click on schedule and we'll put it sometime in the future and hit there, that has now put it into our calendar again. I've done that so that I can go back to the dashboard and you can see that it's actually in here ready. So our recent activity shows us what we've done and then our scheduled posts show us when it's due to be posted. We can view the calendar again and go through there, but I've already shown you that. You can see how simple that was. Now, the only thing I haven't really shown you so far is the new themes. We have been into the design editor, but at the bottom of the dashboard are the new themes that have been added. All you need to do if you want to use one is you hover over it. You can either download it or you can edit it within our editor. Now, we've seen the editor already, so I won't go through that again, but you can see how quick and easy that was. And then from here, after making changes, adding text and shapes or our backgrounds, we can then download it, preview it, use it or save it. I'm just going to quit out for now because I don't want to actually use it. Now, as you can see, this is super easy to use, but very, very powerful. You can get all sorts of things scheduled into your calendar and do everything up front so you have an amazing social media strategy in place. Adding it to different networks as well means that you're going to hit all the different people at all the right places and you can make a really powerful impact on your online presence. And that, in a nutshell, are the main functions of Social Studio.